Hi guy, today we're going to have a look at the DL that's a counter on the 3DO. Just fire it up. Now I've shown this in one of my package videos, it's uh, quite a beast of a game across uh, four discs. It stars uh, it's Tia Carrera, whatever she's called from True Lies. Very attractive woman, but anyway. It's uh, what to say about it. I mean, I have completed this. I mean, but I haven't said that it's not really a game. It's 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 an interactive movie. I'll, uh, you'll see what I mean when when we start it up. I'll, I'll start it from the beginning just to give you an idea of what it's like. Turn it up a bit. Oh, that's the other point. You don't want me. Uh, Blurbing over all of the, the the speech and the the fantastic acting. Now, before we begin, begin, I mean, it might actually shock you to learn that I actually quite like this game. I mean, again, it's a it's an FMV type uh, interactive movie, but I mean, it is quite enjoyable to a degree. Some interesting points in it. As you can see, that's my old uh, my old save game. Let's start right from the beginning. Put it on easy because that gives us more time to press buttons. Yeah, a lot of the puzzles are interactive bits, entirely depending on you pressing the right button at the right time. It can be a bit frustrating, but. It's manageable. Yeah, this is just setting a scene. Uh, the entire game is set in a universe that's just come out of some massive interstellar war. Mm, sounds not too good here, it's quiet voices and uh, loud music. Good mix of it's actually a good mix of, of CGI and, and real life, especially for the time period. Let's see, I think it would have been 94 95 it was out, so Jurassic Park era, I suppose. We're just really discovering what CGI could do. Your ejection pod hit some debris. You got hit pretty bad, but the med techs are trying to fix you up with life support and artificial senses. You just hang in there, Case, and be okay, okay. Case is the protagonist, that's who you play as. Audio link is activated. Cutting in visual in three, two, one. Switch on neural interface? Got it. Casey? It's Gary. Hi. Uh, look. Your mind has been placed in a cerebral support mechanism. It's He's a robot cop. She's trying to save her brain in a box, Casey. Zach, could you let me handle this, please? Look, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> now you may not look the same on the outside, but I know it's here on the inside. And we need to know if you can respond. If you can, must have been a bad night out. In front of you to transmit a yes. Right. Yes. Great. What we've just seen there is I just just paused it a second. 
when I hold down the, the, the right trigger it brings up all these icons as you can see down the, uh, down the left hand side there is tons and tons of icons to use on this one bar each of them must be used at exactly the right time or you know some, an explosion happens or the game just it's just game over for you things go wrong uh, you can, you, of course, with them being so many icons, it's very handy having this interface thing available. You just press the C button to bring it up. C again just brings the uh, up the rest of the controls. There's not much to do in it. That's the thing. I mean, once you bring up that menu, that's pretty much all you can do. The activate navigate control. I don't think we'll get time for. You just there were some points where it's a, a, a like a 3D area where you can circle around and and, and view the surrounding room. You just hold that button in and turn left and right, basically. Anyway, let's have a... Case you uh, probably haven't heard, but the war is over. We flamed their butts in Mexico. The Picard lost a third of their fleet. They went right I hope you can hear this Oscar-winning acting. Practically begged them to negotiate a peace treaty. Of course, you know, that put us out of a job. But hey, war is hell, right? So right now you're aboard the Artemis, the finest salvaging vessel in the sector. Zack and I cobbled it together from a couple of surplus Alliance transports. Not to mention the engines that we sort of uh, borrowed from an Orion-class destroyer. They may not look like much from the outside, but she could tug to her from her right down aboard. Well, we thought we helped salvage some of the Vakar ships we helped disable in the first place. Seems only fair. The way we see it, there's a lot of valuable cargo out there just floating around, free for the day. Yeah, I mean... These are pretty much the only two characters you ever see, and to be fair, it could have been a lot worse. At least Carrera can actually Carrera. I still can't say her name. She can actually act, and the other guy's not too bad. And there's, there's quite some entertaining moments in it. Let's do some hunting. One thing that did surprise me about the game is that it's, it's extremely short I mean you can get through it in about an hour and a half an hour and a half I mean even with four discs if I was to do the straight run through I could probably get through disc one in about 12 or 13 minutes exactly you know same with disc two three and four the puzzles that you do get so again I don't think we're gonna we're gonna get to uh, see any because I think oh, we are running out of time a bit Around the sector for two days now. And if we finally got something activating view screens. Oh, our car crater. Uh, man, juicy. Hey, Case, what do you say? You want to take your uh, new equipment for a test drive? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and activate your remote control probe, Casey? See if you can get us a better look at this derelict. That's me. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Just activate the probe. This is basically what you control throughout the game. And yes, it is annoying. You have to go through this every single time you fire the probe up. Quite why they couldn't just have one on button is beyond me. And we have to activate the grappling arm bit. And it's floaty for us a bit. Yeah, well, I mean, if you have a 3DO, I would recommend buying the game. I mean, it's 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 one of the most interesting looks at FMV tiles of the time, and it does actually show what they could have done if they'd made a lot more effort, rather than some of the uh, more dreadful tiles we received, like Night Trap, you know, things like that, which were just absolutely shocking. Now, a, a good bit of acting, maybe in line with Wing Commander 3. That's the probe just launching there, that's that's me. Uh, but sadly guys, uh, we're almost out of time. Uh, as always, I'll uh, I'll post another video soon. Thanks for watching.